are really enjoying sharing our journey with Jono, so much so that we got together to design three great shirts and a mug. If you have time, please take a look on artbyannamarie.com as they're only available until the 1st of December. the narrow road experience and journey with Jono. Hello. Unlike last week where you may have thought that Jono escaped us, we caught up with him in the basin. It's a, how many boats do you reckon fit in here? Ten. Ten boats and we are all locked in. Locked into Droitwich Bar Basin. It's lovely and secure so because we're very centre of the town, if you've got any worries of people come knocking or running on your roof. It doesn't happen here. No, the only person that came knocking or running on our roof was you. Mm. Indeed. <laughs> so, excitingly, um, we're gonna start a little competition for the locks. Which I don't okay. advocate. Kat doesn't advocate and competitions, and, and Donna don't. doesn't know about it, but every lock we have, you remember this scoreboard for when Alice and Munchie and Kath and I would fall into the canal. I've oh, never no. fallen in, Anna Marie's never fallen in. I've fallen in twice. Okay, so it's a, it's the same scoreboard but it's different so... Um, it's not a falling in scoreboard. It is, is it? not, no, no because we would have zero on it. It is day one, two and, well, trip one, two and trip three and yeah. then however many trips we do. Yeah. Every time you do a lock you get a point. But it's not 100% fair for Jono because he can't do a whole lock because he doesn't have very much energy. <gasps> <laughs> and there's not two of me and I haven't, and I, I haven't trained Molly up to do locks yet. I did two and a half and you did two and a half. So. That day. And the, the volunteers did them that day. <laughs> on the first day, I did four locks and you did the two locks going on to the seven, didn't you? Well, that's four locks. No, that's two. If I did. No. What about if I helped you go through your lock? But you did so, that what you... Yeah, so then you opened the doors for those two locks, okay, so you okay. get half a point for okay. opening. Did you know the volunteers did everything? No, when we got onto Droitwich. Oh gosh, this is going to be a heated competition. So. <laughs> also, those ones are lies because I did two and yep. a half and you did two and a half. <laughs> those ones are lies because I did two and a half and she did two and a half. Oh yes, yeah, so, okay, so we're both owed an extra half. No, you're losing a half. <laughs> I anyway, I'm in charge cheater. of the scoring. Okay, I think there's a bit of bias <laughs> a bit here. cheating already. Okay, and then by the end of our journey with Jono, Double Trouble series with the Narrowbird Experience, we'll see who wins. Well, clearly this is engineered in your favour. <laughs> yeah, because there's already seven for a certain person beginning with A. Mm, funny that. <laughs> Comment below if you think this is biased and um, join us today as we head through some swing bridges, through a few locks, and then we're mooring up for lunch. Comment below if you think that's gonna happen. We've never made a lunch mooring. No. Although, yeah, this, this canal was a bit strange, wasn't it? I know yeah. I'm rabbiting on now, but yeah. there was very limited mooring on this canal, let's just say that. Yeah. I think I need to get some more ones and halves on this side. Everybody can edit the scoreboard. Yeah, okay. Except she's hidden the chalk. So we're just leaving Droitwich Spa. Well, actually it's called Netherwich Basin and it's completely locked in. It, it's um, really safe and we're leaving it now. I'm gonna go through the gate and Kath and Jono are going to, um, and Kath and Jono are going to come along and cruise. There's a few swing bridges. So I'm gonna open the swing bridges and then go set the lock. And in the spirit of competition, Jono thinks he's going to get to the swing bridges before I get back to them and close them so he can have some extra points. We shall see. Miss you. Miss you already, Jono. Get on to do those locks. I'm 
taking this as a bonus point, so I'm taking two points. Absolutely could not get that one open. Kath had to come out and wriggle the gate as I pulled the padlock out but I've made sure that it's locked so that the next person doesn't need to do that. But I don't think it was done on purpose. I think it's just one of those things that happens as the flow of water and people and traffic on the bridge. But if I was by myself, single-handed, I would have needed a helpful passerby in Droitwich Spa <laughs> to help. This swing bridge padlock is exactly the same. So this time Donna is going to get off his boat and wriggle the gate for me and then I can get the lock out again. So I'm losing points just for being helpful. Because oh, it's actually quite light once it gets going. Yeah. This lock is a lot easier for some reason. The swing bridge in the middle opened really easily and I was able to let the two boats go. However, when I've come down to the lock landing, there are no boats. So I guess I'm walking through town. My voice went really high pitched then. I guess I'm walking through town. Just a single lock up ahead. It's just a single lock. So I guess this is where double trouble parts ways. Because we no longer need Jono. We don't need him, but we like him. Oh my goodness, then he took our lock. Unbelievable. Oh, look who's exited the boat. Everybody's off their boats thinking they're getting points, but <laughs> if they haven't brought a windlass off the boat, why are they off the boat? Why am I off the boat? I'm just making sure that you're doing things properly. <laughs> you could just watch the videos for that. Yeah. Woohoo! It's only half a point because it's my windlass. I quite like that. It's nice, isn't it? But do I get another half point the fact that I've got to get off my boat and come up? I was thinking actually if you have to moor up your boat and come off, it's yeah. got to be worth a half point. Yeah, I think so as well. Ready? finally worked out a reason to keep all those shoelaces for playing conkers when we moor up later. Don't want to miss that. So since these now are single locks going along the last bit of the Droitwich Barge Canal, I've taken the time while Anna Marie's gone and left me in this lock so she's going to help Jono up the next one to just update the scoreboard. So the first two swing bridges, Anna Marie only closed them, so she got half a point for them. Whereas me and Jono had to get off and help, so we got two points each for those swing bridges. And then the lock that I'm in now... Which is lock number seven on this Droitwich Barge Canal. I got off and helped Jono through, and then I'm going to do 
get my boat out so I'll give myself a half for that because I didn't open the gates to let my boat in and Anna Marie's got one point for this because she's only done half of it twice and Jono got off in the lock so he's got a half a point so that's the current standings for today looks like I'm winning on this section which I believe to still be river and up ahead I can see a very low tunnel luckily I did happen to check my phone when I left that last lock and I had a message warning me because I haven't had a chance to check the map We are encountering our first and our only staircase lock today. I've taken Molly with me. I don't think John I'm setting the staircase for Jono, but I don't think he understands how much I don't understand staircases. All right, so Molly and I just have to check that nobody is coming down the staircase. This one looks a little bit simple. It looks like all I have to do is empty the bottom lock, fill the top lock, empty the top lock into the bottom lock and then exit the top lock and do that twice because I'll do it for Kath as well yeah that's doable that was lucky I just came to the top lock to fill it because I'm emptying the bottom lock Comment below if you know what would have happened. And now the bottom lock is empty and Jono is on the way in and the gates are open. I can feel this top lock which is empty. lucky there's a boat just pulled up at the top of the staircase so they can take Jono's water down so we don't have to waste it for Kath. It's difficult doing it with a camera between your legs. I've never even played. I've been helping someone up the lock. Run off to play with your friend. <laughs> Alright, switch over. I don't want to. Why? Why are I think that lock back there. <laughs> I'm seriously wrecked. Me too. Okay. I get double points now. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. No. You're doing a bit slow. I'm doing low. <laughs> She's got the scoreboard. And all she has done is load it with her own points. this luck I'm a very honest player not like you and Jono over there conspiring not conspiring <laughs> uh. 
want to let me get the gate because he thought I'd give myself extra points. <laughs> he knows you now. No, I only give myself fair points when they earn. just going past Droitwich Spa Marina. It is one of the marinas that we rang that has a boatyard attached to have a look at doing our blacking, our two-pack epoxy blacking. And even though the gentleman couldn't talk to me at the time, he rang me back and then we decided to go with someone else, but he still rang me back to double check and was really polite and really helpful. So even though we've not used Droitwich Spa ourselves, I wanted to give a little shout out to the customer service at Droitwich Spa because it was really lovely. And we also had a few questions about two-pack epoxy and even though we didn't end up getting our boat blacked here, the gentleman was more than happy to answer the questions for us. So I thought that was really lovely. Shutting his own gate. The gates are open, shall I drive in? <laughs> Jono's taking the lock. <laughs> community and I don't just mean with the boat tubers and people that choose to put their things on YouTube but also there's a lot of different people to follow on Facebook and Instagram and lots of people that are really supportive of our kind of optimistic content and the things that we try to produce for you guys and everybody's wonderful comments and things like that it's just so nice being part of the community so I wanted to give a shout out for that and also I wanted to say that what I'm going to do today for today's episode is in the comments in the description below I'm going to put some links to some different Instagram and Twitter accounts that I follow as a boater and as a human and um, you might want to follow them as well you might not but they're just different people that I find interesting. This lock here is really interesting because it has a side pond which has its own paddles and there's a couple of little signs on the lock gates that say use the side pond first. I think they could benefit from a diagram to show you what that actually means because it's easy to confuse them with the, the ground paddles that are on the side of the lock. But there's a little pond here and two paddles. You open them first whether you're going in or out up or down and it either drains the top section of the lock or fills the bottom section of the lock. The water level has stopped moving so now I have to open the normal ground paddles to fill up the rest of the lock.
drinks at Droitwich Bar are done. We had a very helpful volunteer at the end. Johnny came back and assisted also. Molly is as usual driving the boat. <laughs> and I'm gonna come up to the junction. We're turning port. And so I'm gonna do some crazy waving to let everybody know if there is a boat coming. We moored up shortly after turning onto the Worcester and Birmingham Canal. As it is very overgrown, we ended up a few boat lengths away from Jono. This meant that the cats were able to spend a little quality time on the towpath without fear of attack from Molly. If you want a scoreboard update, now is a good time to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss the reveal in our next vlog. Thanks for watching!